So let's review the, um, it's kind of the graphs of what these look like. And what these represent are intensity graphs. So um, it doesn't say it here, but if you imagine that this is the brightness on this side, so we'll say this is our intensity or our brightness over here. So the greater the, the peak, the, the larger, the brighter it's going to be. So um, what these represent, this is our double slit here. This is our grating, and this is our single slit. And all three of these have the same, well, this would be the same slit distance between the slits, distance between the slits, and this would be the width of the slit just so you can see a nice comparison. So first thing I want you to notice is that our first minimum happens at our m equals 0 0.5, and then our first maximum happens at m equals 1, and so forth. So you have a path difference of 1, 2, and 3, whole path difference, whole wavelength path differences. And notice with the grading, same thing, 1, 2, 3, whole wavelength path differences. Notice the main difference between the double slit and the multiple slit is that this one it gradually gets dimmer and then gradually gets brighter, whereas this it's it kind of peaks here and then it drops down and most of this is going to be darkness and then it gets bright and then most of this is going to be dark and so forth. And all these little things represent the destructive interference. So because there's so many slits, you get so much destructive interference, and that's why um, most of it is going to be um, dark here. So this one you get very clearly defined fringes, and this one you get more gradual fringes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the single slit. Notice the single slit, the central bright spot is wider. Okay, It doesn't start to get dark until you reach that one wavelength path difference right here whereas this one you reached it as at a half of a wavelength. And then you get the first bright spot right here at one and a half, and then it alternates between a half, so you get two, three. So you, one, two, three, whole wavelength path differences is when you, you get your minimums, and then your maximums are going to be these half wavelength path differences. Notice also that this one gradually gets dimmer as you move away. Same thing with this one. It gradually gets dimmer each of the fringes as you move outwards. Whereas this one, there's a huge drop off from the central bright spot to the next bright spots. And again, as we talked about before, that's because um, most of the beam, the reason you get this is two thirds of the beam is destroyed and you're only left with about one third afterwards. So I hope that clears up a little bit about these graphs and how they look.